So every year there are changes to the medical and dental school application. And this year is kind of different in that there haven't been any major changes to how the actual application itself has been set up and what we've done. But there've been some massive changes to, I'd say the way that people play the game based on how it's gone from the last year's changes. Because what happened last year is that they changed the UCAT and they also changed the personal statement. And there's been a real hangover that we've seen this year from that. What we've noticed is that scores for the UCAT have been going up. And that means also the number of takers have also been going up alongside it. So those two things combined is a really strange thing where the scores are getting higher and also the thresholds to get in are getting higher, to get invited to interview. Interview this year is going to be more fierce and competitive than ever. And I think one of the things that I've noticed is that there seems to be this shift of people getting more and more complacent and then becoming more and more panicked from it. So what I see is that like people are leaving it till the summer to start all their application stuff and then getting overwhelmed and then performing badly and you know not getting in because of it. And you know, we on the Future Dot program, we it's been a problem for us because we still have maintained a, re a good success rate of getting students in, but we're finding it hard to keep up, to get people up to speed and help them understand how early they need to prepare. And I don't know if you've watched us on social media, we've been going around interviewing medical students who've recently got in and kind of, I've, I've started asking them, when did you start preparing to get some like evidence from speaking to them of how, what the correlation is between the level of university that they get into and the time that they started. And you'll hear, you'll see that, you know, the UCLs, the King's College Londons of the world, the people who got into that, they'll have been preparing since the start of year 12. When did you very first start preparing for medical school applications? Start of year 12? Around year 12. I do have some friends who maybe started a little later and then struggled with the application because they didn't have enough experiences and they're trying to cram those into the last few weeks of year 12 for personal statement things. So that did definitely make things harder for them. So this is kind of my urge to you that this year, what's going to be different is it's going to be the people who have put the work in and really started understanding things early that um, will help, will do better because it's like, it's a virtuous cycle. The sooner people start, the more organized they are, the more work experience they'll get early on. That means that also not only do they have the knowledge and that helps them kind of when they're looking at other things and when they're thinking about writing their personal statement and even like the ethics of the SJT ethics section of the UCAT, these all kind of are compounded by how well they've done when they've started. The other thing is that what happens is if you leave things too late, they start dominoing into the next thing. So really when you should be thinking about your UCAT, if you haven't got your work experience squared off, then you'll start to be kind of worrying about that. And then it's like, you should be really just focused on one thing when you focused on that and worrying about the other thing that you're not doing. And it becomes a bit of a scramble. And if you get to the stage of like March and you know even April and May, when you start to think about exams and you haven't started your prep and started thinking about these things, it really becomes a lot more stressful and it becomes a bit of an uphill battle. And at some point, people sacrifice. They can go into, you know, competitive medical schools or the, or the, you know, the hardest dental schools as well. It becomes, they become out of reach because they've left it too late. And then if they leave it even later, it becomes to the point where it's like, am I even going to get in? Have I even done enough to get in? Because at this stage, I'm really up against it because I've left it so late. So now we've set a cap on how many people we are going to let onto the Future Doc program. And we have a set number. And once we hit that number, that'll be it. And we will just have a wait list after that. And you know, at the time of filming, we're on 150. So we're already doing quite well towards filling it. And I think that will help us do better for the students. And we're obviously trying to keep our success rate as high as possible. And we can help people later on, but I think it's not fair on the student. It's not fair on us to make people have to rush through all of that stuff. And, you know, people who are not willing to start early and be prepared, I think they probably need to feel the pain of that because there'll be a lot of people who are resitting this year and a lot of people who don't get in will be resitting next year because of it. And um, I think sometimes we have to kind of help people understand that it's, you know, it's not a joke trying to get into medical school. The career is not a joke. You have to take it really seriously and you have to put in the effort if you really want to be within a shot. So I think this year will be a lot of learning from 
last year's mistakes when it comes to the general application and how people going to realize that they need to you know do everything right about their application they need really good work experience they need to take the UCAT seriously and put the time in that they need to 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 get a score because as I say the more people take it the, the number is actually accelerating so there was an increase of about 2,000 from the year before last year this year there's an increase of 4,000 from the year before that so not only is it going up the rate of increase is accelerating as well. So that means that like, if you're in the top decile, whereas it was maybe 3,000 people in that top decile, now it's 4,000 people. Not quite those numbers, but you know, just to illustrate. And that means that it's actually not just going to be higher, like a higher threshold to get there, it's there's gonna be more people who've hit that threshold as, as well. So it's really important to understand that sort of stuff. So look, it's really important to not miss that element. Be prepared. Don't be that person who gets to the summer and is stressed out coming to us for support in the last minute because they have left it too late and now they're scrambling around to build and put together a good application. Really put the time in to prepare. And if you want our help, um, check out some of the playlists that we've got for all the different elements of the application or check out this video here that will tell you a little bit more about how to get our help and have us help you through the application. Be one of the future doc alumni who you know, write their own story and go on their journey to their chosen medical or dental school. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.